Hello ladies and gentlemen out in YouTube land and welcome back to the channel. My name is Joking Scarecrow with a K not a C. We are back for another episode in NHL 21. So where we left off in the last episode, we ended up playing our first regular season game for the New York Rangers. It was at home in MSG and in dramatic fashion, we ended up winning two to one over the Nashville Predators. We had two assists in that game. <coughs> Correction, I just looked at the screen in front of me and I'm pretty, uh, pretty dumb already. Did I say two? I'm sorry. I meant to say I only had one assist in that game, so we have a point per game. And now, you know, I only mentioned two because we ended up having a post-game press conference with one of the reporters, and he asked us if we were going to be able to contribute on a nightly basis. And because I haven't done it yet, I decided to say yes, I can, and we have a challenge for this next game from the reporter, which is going to be that he wants us to get at least two points in our next game. And unfortunately, our next game is away and we are playing the Buffalo Sabres. Now this one, this one hurts. This one really, really hurts. And I, um, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. I hope we lose. I mean, it's not like, you know, I'm like, you know, a Sabres fan or anything like that. It, you know, it just, it really isn't anything out of the norm. I just don't think we're, we should win against them. You know, I do have to say, though, the new royal blue and gold colors look absolutely incredible in real life. If you didn't think through the pictures that they look, you know, any better than the old ones, trust me on this one get the new one because these just look so beautiful even like the stitching and the logo and in the buffalo it, it's just I, I i i cannot do it justice i am gonna jump into the game momentarily i i do want to go into the edit character though because since i have trimmed my hair recently and i also have shaved and have some stubble i want to change them up a little bit see how it looks and um yeah we'll go from there Oh, this, this be a pro, uh, background is pretty cool. You're actually in the locker room and dressed and you can see like the logo and everything in the background. That's neat. Nice, nice little addition to the be a pro that has definitely been overhauled to, I think a successful spot this year. Uh, yeah, let's go with that hairstyle. I think that works best. You know, I'm kind of going through all these and it's starting to get into the medium hairstyles, but yeah, I mean, We'll go with it. Wow. You know, I really wish that I actually looked as good as babyface me in the game because this ugly mug looks horrible. But do you know what's not horrible? Subscribing to the channel, liking the videos, and hitting the notifications bell so that anytime I do upload any videos for the Madden series, the NBA series, the NHL series, and the PGA 2K21 series, you'll be notified whenever they come up on YouTube, and you can also follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Twitch at Joking Scarecrow. Remember, that's with a K, not a C. So last game, we did use the reverse retro jerseys for our team, which are great. They're incredible. D don't get me wrong. So we're going to go with the away jerseys, those nice, beautiful original whites. And for the Sabres, Honestly, I mean, they have their reverse retros, but those are also white as well. They are paying homage to the two th early 2000s. So we're just going to give them the regular home jerseys and go from there. Hello again, everybody, and welcome to the KeyBank Center here in Buffalo, New York. And you will have to strap yourselves in for this regular season contest. It's the Battle in Buffalo between the hometown Buffalo Sabres, led by Jimmy Howard between the pipes. And they are facing the visiting New York Rangers with Igor Shesterkin coming off a beautiful first win against the Nashville Predators. The Sabres literally went from Carter Hutton to Jimmy Howard, who is basically from my neck of the woods. Former Stanley Cup champion. Washed up. Yeah. I think we could get those two points now, I'm not gonna lie. 
I have been in that arena many, many, many times. I love going there. It's such a great atmosphere. If you've never been, I would strongly, um, strongly say that you should go to one of the games. Yoki Haru up to Montour. Stall. That's taken away by Eric Stahl. Chris Kreider now dumps this in around the corner behind the goal mouth of Howard. Yoki Haru gets it back to Stahl up to Akposo. Knocked off the puck. That goes over to Salisbury. He's going to try to go over the blue line. Does. He beats his defender. Tries to take a shot, but then he's knocked off the puck by the defense. We are back in here. About 12 minutes remaining in the first period. Still scoreless. Here's Olafson with a wrist shot. That goes off the arm of Shesterkin. And he does not give up the rebound opportunity. Kreider scoops this one up from the faceoff circle. That one gets poked away. And now they have to go back towards center ice. Ultimately dumped in. Back down low by Salisbury. Wrist to line and first one to pick this up. Dumps it down the ice. No icing. Oh, there is an icing. Very, very delayed. Face off here to the right of Jimmy Howard. And it's one back to Kreider. D'Angelo at the blue line. He loses control of the puck. Here's a breakaway opportunity for the Sabres. A deke. A save by Shesterkin. Oh, it's loose. And it goes into the corner. Good save by Igor Shesterkin. Kreider with a pass. That's stolen away. In the passing lane was Skinner. And he gives it back up to Eichel. Eichel over the blue line. He fakes. Tries to get away. Passes it over. And another great save off a shot by Ristolainen. Beautiful opportunity there for Jeff Skinner. He tried to do the deke. But Shesterkin stayed with him all the way. No goal on that opportunity. We are coming out on the ice during the power play. 23 seconds left in the manpower advantage. Can't get the deke off. Got knocked away. I believe that was uh, Yoki Haru. Uh, oh, no, that was Darlene. Duh. 26, Rasmus Darlene. I have his autographed jersey. Thank you, Tom. Pass up. Advance to Kreider. A back pass. Salisbury with a shot. But he puts it right into the trapper of Jimmy Howard. Man, look at this sex machine. Wow, I'm jealous. Mm. Face off one back to D'Angelo. Salisbury in front. Takes the backhander. It goes off the dome of Howard. He'll be seeing stars for a couple minutes. Again, we're back on the power play here. We got almost the full thing of two minutes. And we have about three minutes and 36 seconds left. In the game, a shot comes through traffic. Shesterkin sees it all the way and makes the save. Tie up in the faceoff circle. A shot taken. That went way wide of the net. Lear looking to throw that into the slot. Knocked away. Montour gets it at the blue line. Nito comes into the top of the circle. Wrist shot right into the belly of Shesterkin. One back by the Sabres. Darlene has it. Controlling it into the circle. Gets it back to Colin Miller. This one's knocked away. Here's a breakaway opportunity for Salisbury. The fake. The deke. And a kick save by Howard as he was being pressured by Darlene. And Darlene is going to get a penalty here as he backhands the puck over the glass. It's a delay a game. And now the Rangers have a five on three power play opportunity. So it kind of sucks that we didn't really get to play on the five on three chance. Obviously, we were winded. Um, there's still a good chunk of the second power play left. 45 seconds, in fact. Still scoreless with a minute 40 going here in the first period. Salisbury gets away from his check. Colin Miller, there's a one-time chance, but Hickey gets in the way of that pass that was coming back door to Kreider. Fox, first one back for the puck. Kreider now trying to get away from his man. He does, passing it to Salisbury. There was a chance in front! But it was knocked away by another skate in front of the net. Hickey clears this one all the way down the ice. And that should do it for this power play opportunity. Very bad for the Rangers as they do not cash in on a 5-on-3 chance. 40 seconds left. Kreider now trying to come out with it. Reinhardt pins him on the boards. Support comes by Salisbury who crosses it over. He'll go to the bench. There's about 20 seconds left. We'll see what happens here on the simulation. Bruh. So with five seconds left on the clock, while we were in their own defensive zone, the Sabres come down the ice and end up scoring. Sam Reinhardt has now made it a one to nothing game. Well, 
I've, 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 I've only got 40 more minutes to try to capitalize on two points. Passes have been kind of hard to get through, uh, especially in the slot. Their defense is really coming up strong there, not giving us an inch. And unfortunately, as I've taken my shots, Howard has stopped them. I, I got to give him credit where credit's due. Salisbury coming off the bench does not hit his man. Now he does. The pass came over, though, to Skinner. Shot taken. Waffle boarded down low by Shesterkin. Salisbury. Oh, he was looking for a pass at center ice, and that's going to go all the way down into the corner and result in an icing on the Rangers. Here's an opportunity. Salisbury on the half wall scoops that up and gets it over to Oleksiak, who gets bodied twice ends up still holding on to the puck kicks it to salisbury salisbury has it pressure wrist shot and a nice snarl by howard yeah for a second there i totally forgot that jimmy howard was the goalie that was i mean that was a that was a mental lapse here comes salisbury looking to dump it in actually went off the body of colin miller he picks it back up comes low looking to probably probably put it through the five hole of howard no dice as it hit his stick and this one is, again, going to be wrapped around the boards. Colin Miller, the first one there for the Sabres to regain control. Miller keeps skating it, gets into the offensive zone. Puck gets bounced up into the air off a of body. And now D'Angelo was able to get it over to Kreider. Kreider pinned on the boards. Here's a chance as they give it up to Salisbury. Can he get away from his man? No, that's knocked away. It does bounce free. Here's a chance. Whoa, taken away. And now Olofsson going back the other way. Ooh, crushing hit there right near the benches. Olofsson is going to need an ice pack after that one. He did get the shot off. Another good save by Shesterkin. Here's a chance. One timer. They score. Who else but Captain Jack? 2-0 now. We've got about 6 minutes and 40 seconds. Where's the thank you? Where was the penalty? That was easy to spot. I got hooked hard. I mean, you can see Stahl basically is on top of me. He's riding me. That was oof. terrible penalty. 5 minutes left here in the second period. 20 seconds left on the power play opportunity. Salisbury got it over to Kreider, went off a stick. Now Kreider gives it to Salisbury, going down low behind the net. Colin Miller with a tip that goes off Salisbury's body, back out in front for Kreider. Kreider with a backhander, more people in front of the net, so it did not get to Howard. Thompson safely dumps this one down the ice that went off another body, and here's Fox with it, giving it to Salisbury. Salisbury could not get the pass off, even though he hit the button! And the Sabres come the other way. I'm going to I'm going to rage by the end of this game. I'm probably going to rage. Here's a chance. I don't know why. Oh, now I don't hit the button and I pass it back. Okay. I feel like now every time I play an EA Sports game, I have to say EA Sports, you know the rest. We were finally able to get a goal here late in the second period. Sorensen was the one who gets credit for that goal on Howard. Ristolainen has to backpedal and cross pass to his partner, Dahlin. Now the puck is at center ice. Over the blue line comes Byfield. Takes a slap shot. Nice glove save by Shesterkin. Byfield in the neutral zone. Just trying to kill some time. He'll get it to Middlestat. Now over to Dahlin. Dahlin racing up into the slot. That's strange for a defenseman. Then again, it's Dahlin, so uh, he's kind of used to that. The horn sounds to end the second period of play here in Buffalo, New York, and the Sabres right now are in total control of this game as they lead two to nothing. Okay, one more period and we have to get two points. I mean, technically, if we go to a tie, we can go into overtime and get that second point. And I mean, if we went to a shootout, it really wasn't, it wouldn't count. So this is do or die right here. We gotta do it. I believe. No, I don't. The Rangers are back on a power play here very early in the third period. Eichel going to the box for hooking. The only thing is, as you can see, the Rangers are 0 for 4 on their power play opportunities. Ugh. Kreider trying to take a shot. It goes off one of the defensemen in front of the net. That was Ristolainen. And now Dahlin clears it down the ice. 
Salisbury gets it over the blue line. Slap shot. He had time. That was a good glove save by Howard. That looked like it would have went in if it wasn't there. Ristolainen pinned along the boards there. Salisbury trying to come and take the puck away. He can't. Ristolainen ends up coming out with it somehow and gets it down the ice one more time. Thompson has the puck. Salisbury trying to get to it. And there's going to be a penalty here and it's going to be four on four. Okay, I was going to say, it shouldn't be on me. I didn't do a damn thing. It's going to be on Ayafalo. Um, and it looks like it's going to be for... Ooh, slashing. Oh, yeah. Ooh. You, uh, you, uh, you go to the box and, uh, you feel shame. Uh, and then you get out and, uh, you go free. We are going to be on the penalty kill here for about 25 seconds. With about 16 minutes and 30 seconds left in the final period of play. That shot goes wide of the net to the right. One-timer in front. And Shostyrkin able to get the glove up and make the save. Oh, it looks like Coach Begris is bringing us over to the bench. What does he have to say to us? Relieve the pressure. Taylor, they have all the momentum right now. I need you to take the pressure off us right now. Uh, the team re response would be... All you had to do was ask, Coach. Consider it done. Uh, promise, explanation, fight back. I guess that would be like generating momentum. I mean, that's what I'm thinking in my mind. Or the star response. I'm surprised it took you this long to ask. I'll get a goal and take care of this, Coach. Turn the tide and score. I'm not trusting myself right now to score. Um, definitely just going with all you had to do is ask, Coach. Consider it done. But he loses that really quickly. Salisbury over the blue line trying to get it to Prust and he goes off sides Prust why you're killing me Smalls we only have 16 shots Jimmy's uh saved 15 of them D wasn't didn't Howard like beat us in one of my older videos too I I don't remember if it was him or yeah no Jimmy played lights out when we played the Rangers and I couldn't get anything by him it's like EA Sports has a heart on for him or something like that. We are coming back on the ice halfway through the third period. And the Sabres were able to pump in another goal. I believe it was Eichel for the second time tonight. So right now it's starting to look pretty bad. Uh, Kreider with a shot there that goes off the pad of Howard. Fox spins around. Got that up. Kreider. Here's a pass over. No, he decides to try to be fancy as always. And he loses it. I mean, come on. I was wide open there. Wide open. All he had to do was try to get it through that one defender, which I think he could have done. And we would have had an opportunity, a golden opportunity, against Howard. The Sabres are on a power play as we come back onto the ice. Panarin went for holding. And it's 3-1. to one. Reinhardt takes the shot. Tried to block it. But that was saved by Shesterkin. Darlene with a shot through traffic. Goes off a body. That was Eichel in front of the net and out of play for a faceoff. Salisbury picks up the loose puck, gets it up to Kreider. Neutral zone, passing it back to Salisbury, looking to get by Yoki Haru. He does, takes the wrist shot. Where was that going? Oh boy, doggy. Salisbury going up the center. Now into the zone, he curls, waits, wrist shot through traffic into the body of Howard. No rebound given. I, I mean, I got to give the devil his due. Jimmy Howard is playing stellar. Even though in real life he's hot garbage. And I, I'm not afraid to say it. Um, oh, they, we score! Jakob Truba blasts one by Howard. And again, we are only down by one goal. Look at that give and go pass back. To Truba. I don't know who that was on the wing, but it was very well executed. Howard had no idea what was going on. There's two minutes and 21 seconds left here in the game. I highly doubt that we are going to come back on the ice. And just as Nostradamus predicted, I did not come back onto the ice for that last two minutes. Eric Stahl ended up putting in an empty net goal, so the final score here in Buffalo it's the Sabres 4, the Rangers 2. And we're getting pulled aside here by Coach Begris. Challenge results. We're skating on thin ice. They are getting too many chances at this rate. They're going to score. 
Um, obviously, our likability went down in everything. Uh, there was nothing we could do. Howard was a brick wall out there, and he he played well. The whole, the, the whole team played well. The defense was great as for the Sabres as well. I can, you know, I, I, I can't say any more. The third star of the game goes to Casey Middlestaff for the Sabres. He had one goal in this contest. Sam Reinhart, the second star of the game, with a goal and an assist. And the first star... Oh, wow. I thought it would be Eichel. It goes to Eric Stahl, who also had a goal, an empty net goal and an assist. So maybe he had the assist on the game winner. Um, that's shocking to me. I'm, I'm very surprised. And also Jimmy Howard. Like, what were his stats? Whoa, wait a minute. Whoa. Hold the phone. The Sabres have Jimmy Howard as their starter and they have Ryan Miller, the legend, the icon, the hunk, coming back to Buffalo to retire as the backup? Okay, you have no idea how much in real life I would love to see Ryan Miller come back and retire with the Sabres. Especially with the team that they have built in this offseason. You've got Taylor Hall, you've got Eric Stahl, Jack Eichel, Sam Reinhart, you've got uh, uh, Cody Eakin. Like, this team, especially if Miller was around, it would just uh, be so nostalgic, it would feel so good. So Jimmy stopped 21 of the 23 shots again, so that would be a 9 uh, 0.913 save percent average. And I mean, yeah, the goals against average is a 2.01, but that's still solid. I mean, that's a good game in my book. Especially when it's Jimmy Howard. I'm not fooling you. If you haven't seen the first few videos that I actually did on the channel, go back and find the one where it shows Jimmy Howard in the screenshot for the Red Wings. He, anytime I play him, he just w wipes the floor with us. I can't do anything about it. So obviously only a C plus overall. We went down in all of our lines scoring like ability. Minus one in the game, eight shots. So we, we did end up getting a lot more shots than we did in the first game. And I wanted to start doing that a little bit more. Um, yeah, just couldn't get anything going. So I know that it's wicked early. We've only played two games in the regular season, but I did want to go in and just see what the division looks like right now. The Carolina Hurricanes are undefeated after their first two games with four points in their two wins. The Devils uh, have played one game and ended up winning that, so they're undefeated. The Penguins, one and one, and they are tied. Well, technically they're in third, but they're tied with the Flyers, and they're also tied with us at one win and one loss. The Islanders have a loss and an overtime loss. That hurts. And then Columbus and Washington. Wow. Bottom of the barrel. Owen two so far. Ouch, Ovi. Well, I think that's uh, not really a successful uh, video, but um, hey, we tried our best and Buffalo was just the better team. That's, that's, you know, all there is to it. So let's wrap this sucker up and put a bow on it. We need to uh, make sure that we clean off our skate blades and they uh, don't get rusty and terrible. We're definitely going to need those for sure. We need to um, definitely put the jersey in the laundry. It's probably got a lot of sweat in it. Very stinky. Probably like rainforest sweaty. Probably like swamp sweaty. And as always, we need to get that sweet, sweet nectar from the gods called Gatorade. Because come on, we're dehydrated. So for now, I am signing off. This is Joking Scarecrow with a K, not a C. But I will see you next time.